So in this lecture, we are going to discuss about some applications of recurrence relation. So the very first application of recurrence relation is we will develop a recurrence relation or uh, to find the amount received after n years if the principal amount invested in a bank is p0 and the rate of interest is r percent okay so we are going to find a recurrence relation which will do this work i want to find the amount received after n years if i invest principal p not and what is the rate of interest the rate of interest is r percent and we will also find the and we will solve this recurrence relation we will also not only develop a recurrence relation but we are also going to solve it and we are going to solve it by the iterative method so if i go for the solution what is p not p not is nothing but the principal amount the principal which we are going to invest at a very initial stage what is p1 i'm going to denote p1 is the amount after one year so after one year i am going to receive the amount how much one year amount after one year what is p2 p2 is similarly the amount after two years which we are going to receive from the bank okay so so what is pn what is what is pn going to denote by pn is going to denote the amount after how many years amount after n years that we are going to receive from the bank that is what we want to find find the amount after n years so we actually want to find what we actually want to find pn now if you if you know that if p not is the initial investment in the bank okay after one year how much money will i get from the bank we all know that simple interest will be how much the simple interest will be p not into 1 into r because it is only one year so this is a formula for simple interest where n is equal to 1 so this will be the simple interest and therefore what will be the complete amount after one year we know that after one year i will get my principal also will be there and simple interest will also be there so this is the formula for the amount after one year so p1 will be how much p1 will be p0 plus simple interest how much is the simple interest the simple interest is p0 multiplied by r upon 100 so this is a formula for p1 so p1 is equal to p0 multiplied by what 1 plus r upon 100 okay now if i do the same calculation after 2 years what am i going to have get after 2 years on similar logic so this is the first step okay this is the first stage i will say so what is p2 p2 is the the amount which we are going to get after how many years after 2 years and if i use the same logic what will i get similarly now we can make a guess p2 will be equal to what p1 into 1 plus r upon 100 so this is the second stage what is the third stage p3 will be equal to how much p2 into 1 plus r upon 100 so what is the kth stage at the kth stage you will get pk is equal to pk minus 1 into 1 plus r upon 100 and in general what is the nth stage so the nth stage i will get is pn is equal to how much pn minus 1 into 1 plus r upon 100 right so it is looking like what it looks like what it looks like a relation an is equal to an minus 1 multiplied by 1 plus r upon 100 this 1 upon r plus 100 is a, is a constant number okay this is not going to change because the rate is fixed right so this is looking like what this is looking like an is equal to some constant times what 
some constant times a n minus one. So this is uh, actually what this uh, this p n equal to p n minus one into one plus r upon hundred. This actually is what this actually is a is a recurrence relation. Okay, and what we will do is now we are going to solve this recurrence relation. So how am I going to solve this recurrence relation? So what I will do is this one up uh, one plus r upon hundred. This quantity I'm going to call for my convenience. I'm going to call it what? I'm going to call it alpha. So for simplicity or for our simplicity, we don't want that complicated term to occur. So what what we will say? Let alpha be equal to what? Let alpha be equal to one plus r upon hundred. So this recurrence relation actually starts looking like p n is equal to alpha times p n minus one. Okay, this is your recurrence relation. What is the initial condition of this recurrence relation? The initial condition is that p naught is given to us. P naught is the principal. That principal amount is given to us, right? So the uh, now I will solve this by what? Now I will solve this by iterative method. What is the iterative method? I will write the recurrence relation first as it is. So p n is equal to what? Alpha into p n minus one. Okay, what is the value of p n minus one? What will I write for p n minus one? For p n minus one, I will write alpha into how much? I will write alpha into p n minus two. So this will become what? Alpha square times p n minus two. And when I go ahead now, what will I write? Alpha square into alpha multiplied by p n minus three. So this will further become what alpha cube into p n minus three. This is the this is the third stage. So similarly for the fourth stage, what will I get? Alpha is to four p n minus four. And what will I get for the kth stage? When I go continuing like this, I will get alpha is to k into p n minus k. What is the left hand side? I remember that the left hand side is p n. So this is what p n is equal to. Alpha raised to k, p n minus k, right? And I will put the value of k equal to what? I will put k equal to n. When I put k equal to n, what will I get? I will get p n is equal to alpha raised to n into p naught. But p naught is the initial condition which is given to us. P naught will be given to us. Some number like the initial investment in the bank was three thousand rupees. So p naught will be how much? P naught I will substitute as three thousand. Okay. And this means that p n is equal to what? What is alpha? Who was alpha? What was the value of alpha? Alpha was one plus r upon hundred. So this I'm going to get p naught into alpha raised to n. P naught is as it is written here. Okay, and alpha raised to n is written over here. What is alpha raised to n means one plus r upon hundred power n. So I got a formula. That what is P N? What was P N denoting? P N was denoting the amount received from the bank after how many years? After n years. So what will be that amount? The formula for that amount will be P naught is P N is equal to P naught multiplied by one plus R upon hundred power n. What is P naught? Where P naught is the Initial principal which was in invested in the bank. What is R? R is the rate of interest, and N is the number of years. This formula is also called as the formula for compound interest, calculating the compound interest. So this formula is also called as the compound interest formula to calculate the amount after N years in the bank.